Hey, this is Jerry Hansen Studios. I'm gonna teach you guys how to draw a simple pencil portrait. We'll be right back. Hello, welcome back. This is Jerry Hansen Studios and I brought you into, well, my studio. And in today's episode on Jerry Hansen Studios, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to draw a, a, a portrait out of pencil and just by following these methods. Now, I taught this in a college class about 10 years ago and this is just the basic fundamental principles for when you're drawing a face. So let's sit down at the desk, get started, and we'll get into it. First of all, I need some paper. <laughs> Just any paper will do. I have some right here in my fax machine. We're gonna borrow that and go sit down at my desk. And we're just gonna do this in, let's do this in pencil. Because I'm gonna, good. I, I think I'll show you guys a little bit of shading technique too. Let's go to the, off, uh, the uh, desk. Okay. Turn my paper, grab a pencil, okay, pencil, doesn't, um, I don't necessarily need an, er an eraser, but I do need to sharpen this, there we go. Okay, let's get started with some basic understanding. First of all, something simple. It's some people find it hard to um, to remember. Uh, when I first started, I found this hard to remember. But let's look at the paper itself. In this position, it's called portrait. When you turn your paper to the side, it's called landscape. And how I remember this is portraits are usually taken where you've got the long way going this way and the horizon going on the narrow side, but with landscapes, landscapes you want to capture the horizon, which is your horizontal line, and you want to capture your horizon, so you're going to turn the paper sideways and get a better spectrum of your image that you're drawing or painting. And so this is called landscape. This is called portrait. We're going to work with portrait today. So really easy, really simple, just a paper and a pencil. Uh, let's start out by drawing an oval or a shape of an egg. Just, you got broad at the top and an egg is narrow at the bottom. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, but that is the kind of the focus of an egg. Okay, oval. Now, to, to apply the rules of half, if you look at your own face in the mirror, Imagine grid lines on your face between your chin and the top of your head and start imagining grid lines and finding the center line. I'm going to show you where the center lines are, uh, both horizontally and vertically. Let's go. So I'm going to <clears throat> draw a line straight up through the center and straight across the center. Okay, now we've divided the face into quarters. And we're going to use these lines as our guide. Now, I'm going to do some uh, small lines here. We're going to find the halfway point between this right here and here. And we're going to just draw a little tick mark right there. And the same way with over here, a little tick mark there. Now, this is fascinating. We just followed the rule of half. We gridded our face. Now we've got the grid of half, the rule of half. We got a halfway starting point, and this will come in a little later, and then these are halfway points. Just draw a little dot there. Just draw a little dot there. A little black dot. You can do big dots, little dots, uh, anything you want. Now, guess what, folks? These, these are the P 
pupils of your eyes. Yep. Your pu the pupil of your eyes are centered halfway on the axis of your head, halfway down and equally out from side to side and from center to side. Now you're going to draw a little circle around that pupil. That's your iris. And then you're going to draw an eye. How do you figure out how big the eye is going to be? Well, again, if you're looking at the mirror and you're imagining grids on your face, to find where the inner part of your eye and the outer part of your eye fall, I'm going to show you on paper. You're going to be amazed. So this is turning out to be not only a drawing um, instruction, but also anatomy. <laughs> so find your rule of half. Halfway between here and here is right here. Halfway between here and here is right here. And we're going to do the same over here. Halfway, halfway. Folks, this is the inside of your eye. This is the outside of your eye. Cool. So now people of different cultures have different shapes of eyes. Choose the shape you want. Try to draw your shape or the shape of your best friend. Uh, or the person you admire. Uh, just uh, find a shape because there's a variety of different shapes of eyes and then we're just going to go with that shape. So let's draw it. So I know this is the outside of the eye and I'm going to come up very slightly and go down and come down very slightly. Okay. And we're going to try to follow this pattern here. But you know what folks? You're not even, even in your own anatomy, both of your eyes are not identically the same. They're not. Nope. So let's continue. So now to find, we got our eyes. Now to find our nose. The top of the nose starts right here at this pot, uh, point. To find the bottom of your nose, imagine your grid. You find the halfway point between here and here and you draw a little tick there. And then that's the bottom of your nose. Now you got different shapes of noses and you got different widths of noses. So your nose typically comes up like this and fades in up in here. We're gonna finish this off and we're gonna be use shading here uh, in a little bit, but I'm gonna show you guys, this is where you plant your nose, all right? Now, we've got the two eyes, we've got the nose. Let's find out where the mouth goes. Uh, you guys are ahead of me already. Halfway point between here and here is right here. All right? This part is right here, where your lips come together. That's amazing how the, the center of your mouth, where your lips come together, is at the halfway point between the bottom of your nose and your chin. Interesting. Now you come to the next aspect. From different cultures, you'll notice that there's different shapes of lips. Like some people have, I notice some people have no lip. <laughs> and so you accommodate that. Some people have nice, full, voluptuous lips. Uh, you, it, you can draw any kind and shape of lips you want. Uh, but we got to find out where these uh, uh, your, your the it, corners of your mouth come to. Yep, you're right. Half, half. Let's do this. Okay, find the halfway point between here and here, and you're gonna get it right here. Same way, here and here, it's gonna be. There's where the corner of your mouth is. So you draw a line. Okay, this guy's tight lip. Ha 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 ha. Let's draw some lips. I'm gonna go up here and do this little divot here and come down and then probably do the same except a little bit fuller down here. Now this person's anatomy is correct. Look at that. We use the rules of half. Now that we got the basic foundational principles down, you could draw your eyebrows, 
the cleft of your chin, even this little dimple here, right here under between your nose and your lip. And we're going to do those with shading. And then also we'll add hair and we'll add ears. Let's add the ears now because it's interesting. People have different shape of ears. And, uh, but you got to know where the ears connect to the head. Let's look. <laughs> it's a, a turning into an anatomy lesson. The ears connect to the head right here, even with the center axis right here. So you connect the ear right here and you come down and you can make the ears as big or small as you want, but that's where they connect right here at this axis. Now this person is anatomically correct in the head. <laughs> Let's put a neck on this guy. I know some people with long skinny necks. I knew some uh, well bodybuilders and football players have these great big thick necks. And um, so we're going to draw the neck, which we find attractive because this is your creation. You're drawing this person. This person is going to be who you want it to be. So it could be somebody sitting in front of you. And with that person sitting in front of you, now you know the foundation uh, principles on getting started and getting the person anatomically correct. So let's put a neck on this. So let's just do a neck here. Okay, an average size neck. Now, I have not determined what the gender of this individual is going to be. Whether it's going to be a man, male or female. Uh, let's just start putting in some other features. Like the, the, the rolls of the eyelid here. Just, you got little rolls in your eyelid here. Just little rows. Okay. And then you've got lips. Let's get, let's uh, work on the eyes right now. Uh, let's figure out where your eyebrow is going to be. Now, you've got your orbital socket that lies beneath where your eyeball sits. And this is part of the anatomy. So your orbital socket kind of like falls in here. It's kind of like where your eyebrow is going to go. Okay, now you can just do the little outline and just you can uh, uh, pencil in, you know, your hairs. You can make fine manicured um, uh, eyebrows uh, if it's a female or even some males have them. Or you can do the big bushy ones, uh, usually a sign of a lot of testosterone in a guy, the big bushy um, eyebrows. Uh... Let's do some shading. I'll show you guys some shading here. And you'll see how the, no the nose now starts morphing into a nose. And the lips get a little bit more depth and more features start coming in. Let's, let's, start, with, uh, let's start with the eyes. We'll do some shading around the eyes. And we're going to lay, lay the pencil on the paper and start shading like this. And I'm going to show you a couple of tricks. So... I can either go like this with a pencil or I can go like this off to the side and rub some in there and use another tool, my finger. Look at this. Look how the shading comes in when you apply it with your finger. You're going to do a lot of this. You're going to learn how to use your fingers. And you can also use a, an eraser for doing highlights, okay? So it... And then a little bit down below. Let me get some more graphite here. And we're going to use the same principle right here with also doing the nose. But we're going to figure out where the light is coming from on your subject. 
I'm going to imagine my light coming from this angle and shining down on the subject this way. So we're going to put sh the shadows over here. So right here, I'm going to shade in my nose. And under the nose. And then down the side of the face, because this is all in the shade. And under the chin. And this goes edge of your pencil because you got really darker shadows here and then blend it in. And then notice you've got little tear ducts here. Go ahead and draw those in. Okay, let's get your eyes finished, okay? Okay, starting to look more like a, a, a human instead of a mutant. Now, let's do the upper lip here. The upper lip is really shaded because if you notice, the bottom lip is facing up so it's catching the light, the reflection of the light, so it lightens that skin on your bottom lip. But your upper lip is facing down so without, with the absence of light coming up and reflecting off your top lip, it's in the, sh it's in the shadows, see? Now, I'm not drawing myself, I'm drawing my imagination, and that's what you guys can do. I'm teaching you guys, everybody can be an artist, and this is a simple, simple foundations. So let's get some depth to the lips. Your lips have a little bit of lines and folds. Since this is set in, let's come out with lines and curve them up, almost looking like hairs. We're going to fix that in a minute. And on this side, because if you look closely at lips, they have these little folds in them. Now we're just going to blend that in. And then the bottom lip, you're going to do the same nice full and give the illusion that there's depth to these lips. And that's what you're doing is you're giving the illusion that there's depth. Now your upper lip has, you know, should be a little bit darker in color even if it has lipstick on even if it has lipstick on so I'm, I'm I'm imagining I'm drawing a female here now because it's it's turning out with some features that are feminine so I'm gonna kind of play with some shadows here and go under here this is not perfect and then I'm gonna draw this little feature here. And then she has a little bit of cleft in her chin. And just kind of blend it in with your finger and give it some body. And here's where you can use an eraser. Let me find an eraser. Oh, yeah. do any of these pencils have an eraser? No, not one of them have an eraser. I found one with an eraser. So I'm going to work on just removing some of that. You can even use eraser as part of your tool. Don't be afraid of it. And it's really dark under the, uh, under the chin because that's where shadows are right here but follow the contour of the face we don't want her to have a beard facial hairs okay so now that's the basics of creating a subject now you can just do any hairstyle you want you know find a part line come across the part line come down
and just you can really go into detail and depth here and do anything you want take your lines and follow the contour of the head they give it the illusion that it is a body and then also you can go into more detail about your um, eyebrows I'm not going to go into that yet or uh, on this video but this gives you the basic understanding now I just made you guys artists you want to see this person morph into an old person by adding a few simple features yeah I'm old uh, let's make this person look a little bit aged as we get old we have laugh lines which are crow's feet here you just add those the wrinkles of happy life you can add a little bit of wrinkles around the lips no problem you can add some worry lines here okay we're not done yet you can shade in right here as people get old gravity starts taking over the ears keep growing <laughs> they do if you notice really old people their ears have continued to grow and oftentimes the nose continues to grow but we're not going to touch the nose but just or those are just a few simple effects that you can do to add to your uh, picture for making an old person so now I made you guys an artist uh, check try it out I mean if, if you're hot or even in going into winter it's too cold to do anything outside pick up a piece of paper a pencil and start seeing what talents that you didn't realize you had that are buried in there and express yourself um, it's it's really relaxing and enjoying to create something out of my imagination and put it on paper so I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial and hopefully now you can sit down with the basic knowledge of drawing a portrait using the uh, rules that I laid out in the show and you too can draw your own portraits yes and who knows you may have a talent you didn't know you had mm -hmm. I found out I painted these two pictures won uh, awards on them and I've done many many art because I discovered I was an artist and I didn't know it so hopefully it'll unlock a secret that you guys didn't know you had well, I'm Jerry Hansen, your host. This is Jerry Hansen Studio. Stay tuned to more of episodes. You could do that by subscribing, clicking that share button, sharing this channel on your social media platforms helps us out a lot. Remember, be safe, always be kind, and check out my other two channels. I also produce a show at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm on YouTube, and I also produce a show across the street with my neighbor featuring his rhinoceros and elephants and monkeys etc and that is southern oregon safaris where the buffalo roam yep he even has buffalo we'll see you guys later bye bye now